All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. We're going to catch you on one of those. This will be lesson one, actually, on the flute. Now, I prefer all of my saxophone students to eventually incorporate the flute into their armature. Number one, the fingerings on the flute are identical to the saxophone for most of the notes until you get it to the upper register. But before we go too far, let me just tell you the differences in the flute. First of all, the flute is akin, and I mean similar to, a brass instrument. And in that as you begin to play it, what you want to do is pull the air, bounce the air off of this little, what we call the frenulum. This is a part of the lip, the front part of the lip, down and then across this little hole here. Okay, so what you're doing is more or less a now I've said this on previous lessons it's not if you have it or if you don't you'll eventually have it if you keep practicing it. Now the way I will tell you to do it put it on a table in your room or in the living room depending on which one on a table where it's safe where it won't roll off right uh, fully made in front of the door so when you come in the door guess what you you want to pick up first this and try that note try any note try that that's the way I got the embouchure so to speak for the flute I never will forget the day when I told the band director in high school hey uh, Mr. Senate I want to start playing the flute and he wanted to discourage me up and down because he wanted to keep me on saxophone but <laughs> After I learned how to play the flute, I was able to run for president of the band. <laughs> okay, but I'm saying all that to say, not to spite him or anything like this or to doubt his wisdom. He wanted me to focus on the saxophone, and I had a lot to focus on at that time. Don't get me wrong. Uh, armature, uh, instrument, etc. But this flute will open up some things for you. I think the children like the flute the most. I'm talking about when they hear the sound of it. Women like the flute a lot more, at least that's been the general reaction of the people that I see um, when I do a street ministry. Again, the differences in the flute are that you're blowing across it. You want to put this hand, your left hand up under like this, your right hand over, and of course the notes you skip I'm going to show you. Of course mine go down automatically, but these are the notes you skip. Watch my little fingers, of course, for your G-sharp, you got that little finger. For your D-sharp, you go here. And again, this is assuming you've already learned how to play the notes on the flute. Of course, let's go up to the upper register right away because the other fingerings are the same. It just so happens that, at least on the tenor saxophone, sometimes you can get those top tones, top tones with a couple of the same fingerings for the flute on the upper hand, the right hand. Of course this A is I think about the same that you can get would be G, uh, G uh, concert on uh, for the tenor but uh, G concert which will be A for the tenor but as you can tell some notes I have to lip up What you're doing is making the air a little bit more streamlined, not any more forceful. Of course, that'll be something for you to practice. Let's go down to G. And that was a, 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 a three octaves of G. Now, one of those G's, I left off the um, thumb key, the top one. Of course, the E now is two fingers of each. Uh, of course, consult your uh, fingerings for the flute to get more accurate on that. I'm just giving you the first uh, few uh, notes that you can start practicing on the flute. Uh, be sure to practice your chromatics. 
And practice it with that articulation after you practice a simple articulation like this. Practice the simple and then the articulate. But what this will do invariably is make your tenor saxophone, your alto saxophone, your soprano saxophone playing even better just because of the articulation in my humble opinion. Uh, the other of course scales you want to play with uh, are your whole tones. Of course and of course the other one. Of course and you're half diminished. Those three scales that you've been given already, I believe in lesson seven and lesson six of your advanced saxophone. But of course, look at all these, and of course some of them will be free for you, uh, thanks to the generous donations of, of uh, Azim, my good friend Dennis Bevel out there in California, uh, oh yeah, Southside Pharmacy, uh, Carl Dutenstein, uh, oh, the, the numerous prosecutors and lawyers that have given to us and made contributions. Uh, I said Southside Pharmacy already, but we want to really thank them right now on behalf of uh, P Squared Informatics because some of you all will get this for free. Some of you all will just have to make a little bit of a payment just because of them. Anybody 16 years old and younger can get this. How to get out of poverty with your instrument or with things at your house, okay? Let's, let's just face it like it is. Things at your house you can use to uh, give a service, uh, play for people. I'll give you more on this later. Of course, this was just the introduction to flute, which is this, this is a part of the overall package. And we sure, sure thank you. We love you and ain't nothing you can do about it.